The overall mission of NCIA's Herbert J. Holter Vocational Training Center is to equip individuals with the skill sets they need to enter the workforce. We serve three core populations, and that population revolves around the homeless veteran, the person returning home from incarceration or the returning citizen, or the economically disadvantaged, or a person that's receiving some type of food stamp supplement. And that person is coming to us broken, and ultimately we want to make sure that we provide them with the tools and the skill sets they need and that are critical to them actually becoming employable. There was two defining moments in my life that made me quit school. All uh, because uh, I, would, I would say not knowing values by my father being absent and not being taught that I was more than clothes but I was being identified as nothing. And it was so easy to go out there and do the wrong things. I was in the street. You know, um, thank God that he saved me, you know, because um, I received eight years in prison. And I said to myself, well, what can I do that I can do into a later age before my body breaks down? You know, because I had been shot, stabbed. I needed to get my CDLs because I knew I was getting old and, you know, Social Security and all that kind of thing that I needed to work. And I just, I just thank the NCIA program for give me a second chance. A lot of the demographics that we serve uh, come from prison. They're coming home from prison, men and women alike. Being in that same situation myself uh, for a number of years, my attitude has changed with that. It was always a case of, well, they had a choice to make. Well, yeah, that choice is, is you're a young man or a young woman and you're 10, 11, 12, 14 years old and you've got a little brother and little sister. Dad either hasn't been around or he's in prison and can't be around and mom's either working three jobs trying to make ends meet or for some other reason she's not available. You know, you've got, it's on you as a young child and, you know, 10 years old is still a young kid, you know, to make those ends meet to try to get shoes on your little brother's feet, you know, feed your little sister. And you, you got, the only option out there is to do something that most people don't understand. You know, you've got to sell drugs, you've got to steal, you've got to rob to take care of it, take care of your little sister. Well, why don't they go to social services? Well, then he probably will never see his little brother or little sister again. And that, that culture is ingrained. And by the time he's an adult at 18, that man or woman might have two or three felonies and his future is done. He's never had an opportunity like NCIA, never had an opportunity where he can go and um, get a, a, a trade in HVAC or automotive or a CDL license or fly a drone and now we're starting a culinary arts course here and it's geared for people that need jobs now. Vocational Training Center opened on September the 11th of 2017. And the center is designed to serve a number of different populations. First, the reentry population, also the homeless veteran population, and individuals that are, have a far less advantage in life than what most of us do. Our mission is very clear to help these people that deserve the second chances in life and to work with them and remove whatever barriers exist. And we measure ourselves one way. At the end of the day, if you've come through this program, are you gainfully employed? Have you helped us reduce and remove the barriers that you have? And are we keeping in touch with you to make sure that you stay on the right path? We've served approximately 400 people over the last two and a half years. Of the individuals we serve, we have about a 70% graduation rate. Out of the 70% that we graduate, we have about a 75% employment rate. 
and the average wage is $18.15 an hour that they earn. So my mission in life is to give these individuals the second chance that they deserve. Uh, I know what it's like, I've walked in their shoes, uh, I know the challenges that they face each and every day, and everyone deserves a second chance in life. So I am extremely proud of being a part of NCIA, of Herb Holter, who's the CEO and co-founder of NCIA, giving me the opportunity to do this. But I am most proud that we've been able to change people's lives. And the way you do that is get someone a job, a gainful job. Most centers you go through, uh, you get a certification. All of our certifications are industry recognized. But what sets us apart is the workforce development piece. As an individual is coming through our training, we are immediately having all the case management, the assessments being done, the barriers being removed. And at the end of the day, our workforce development team works with that individual, actually takes them on the job appointments, many of them. Because if you're an employer and you've got seven applications that you receive online, and six of them are clean, and one of them has a felony charge, chances are you're not even going to talk to that individual that has the felony charge. So we have a very old-fashioned way of doing it. We accompany many of our students on those job interviews. We've put together a vast group of employers that we work with, and the mission is just very simple. We're not gonna stop until we get everyone employed. I had a career waiting for me when I came out. You know, I, I've got 28, almost 30 years of heating and air conditioning behind me. But you've got men and women that have never held a job in their entire life. They're 30, 40 years old. And they're coming out and if they don't find a program like this, they're going back to spend the rest of their lives because that's all they know. That's the only place they can survive. They've always been told this is all they're going to be. They're not going to be good enough. You're a deadbeat dad. You're a drug dealer. You're a pusher. You're a hooker. You, you, you're nothing. You, you're, you're a tramp. You're, you're a prostitute. That's all you're ever going to be able to do. You're a junkie. You know, nobody's ever told them, that, yeah, you can learn this. And you can learn this now. And you can provide for your family. You don't have to rob somebody. You don't have to sell drugs to be able to, make, to provide for your family. And you can also be there for your family. That's more important than anything else. Any of my students, their children will never have to take this class. Their children and their grandchildren will be able to go to Maryland University. They'll be able to go to MIT. They'll be able to go to Stanford because of the choices they're making now. I love the CEL program. Um, they so hands-on. They have a curriculum that anybody can grasp. You know, uh, me being back and forth in and out of school, I didn't think that um, I would be able to keep up with the terminology and classwork in general. But Mr. Jim, our instructor, He's a great man. He gets it. And he can relate. And I watch him, he tries to make everybody feel special. But that's what I'm trying to say about this program, about these people. All they do is encourage you. They got a whole staff here dedicated to helping men and women get their life together. Vocational training is really barrier removal. Vocational training is really, I'm gonna hold your hand. Vocational training is really, I'm gonna listen to you. Herbert J. Holter's Vocational Training Center is really I'm going to actually get involved in your life. I'm going to provide you the requisite training. I'm going to give you some case management. I'm going to give you some Workforce Development Institute. But what it really is, is that I'm not going to give up on you until I see you have some success in your life. 
I'm doing exactly what I should be doing, and I'm grateful and thankful to have such an incredible staff, and I'm grateful and thankful to be working with the individuals that I work with every day.